My name is Denny Reynolds Penley, and I'm the principal at Southeast High School, and I have always been a Raider. It seems like I've always been a Raider. I know you're gonna enjoy the next few minutes as you watch our video of the history of Southeast High School. We are celebrating 40 years at Southeast High School this year. It all began in 1975 when Eastbrook High School and Valley Point High School came together, consolidated. Uh, by all accounts, everyone I've talked to said it was kind of an anxious time. The first year of Southeast High School, school was not on campus. It was at Eastbrook High School in that facility, um, although it was Valley Point and Eastbrook together, which had become Southeast High School. Um, the school building was not ready at that time, so um, the first year was actually not on campus. And then uh, the school opened in 1976, and so we're celebrating uh, the anniversary of the first year in the school building as Southeast Whitfield High School Raiders. classroom concept and this was some, uh, something that was sort of new uh, in California and it seemed like a good idea uh, in Georgia because we didn't have the funds that we needed to build uh, two high schools uh, and uh, it uh, along with the concept of the open classroom being innovative uh, it also saved a lot of money at the time uh, because it didn't take as much to construct the buildings. Going into the new facility had its own challenges. That first few years it was the open concept. Which meant that one class could throw paper walls over the wall of another one and then of course the math department, Ms. Sanders taught the whole math department. I remember a lot of talk about that. <laughs> which meant uh, you didn't have walls, you had partitions of sorts, so sound was atrocious between classes, especially if you had a teacher who talked louder than another teacher talked soft. You can see <laughs> the conflict, or one was given a test and the other one was lecturing, so it, it had its, its own challenges. The construction people used the hallway for a road. Uh, they were moving uh, concrete, and, uh, other types of material down the hall which had not been uh, poured at that time but all of the plumbing had been installed previously and the heavy weight of the trucks broke the PVC pipe uh, that went to the restrooms and also the drainage when we moved in not realizing that all of this had occurred we had a lot of problems with the plumbing and also had a lot of leaks on the roof where the water backed up. We moved in before we had any of the facilities for the, uh, the stadium, uh, for the baseball field, or for the tennis courts. Uh, we used the uh, football field with, uh, on the uh, campus of Eastbrook Middle School uh, for the first few years. Later, the stadium was completed here at Southeast, the baseball field, the practice field, and the tennis courts. Our first football coach was uh, Mr. Uh, Hilliard, yeah. who was the coach at Eastbrook, and Jack Diggs 
was the uh, head coach at Valley Point, so he came in as the athletic director, and Coach Hager was the head football coach, and Coach Wilburn, who taught math, and uh, uh, was also an assistant football coach. They they really developed a good team, and yeah. uh, uh, it was that team that uh, Coach Brownett took and went on to yeah. with the 10-0 season. My greatest memory here, um, and it starts a long time ago, 1979, my father and I went to watch Southeast Whitfield play in the playoffs. At Southeast was 10-0, and we were actually playing Dalton in the playoffs, and I can remember sitting in the rain and watching that game. And uh, from that moment on, I wanted to be a Southeast Raider, and I could not wait to be a Southeast Raider. And fast forward to this past season. This past season, uh, we brought the 1979 team back for homecoming. It was 35 years, 35-year uh, anniversary. And those guys came into our locker room, and uh, the coach, Earl Bramlin, also came back, and they spoke to our team right before we went out and played. And uh, it was one of the greatest memories that I could remember. And those guys were my childhood heroes. And I finally got to meet them, had them in the locker room. Uh, they gave a great pregame speech, and we went out and won, won the game. And that made uh, our record 5-0. So we were at the time, were also undefeated, like they, they'd went 10-0 in 1979. And um, I was just so proud of our school, our community, our players, and it's just a, a memory that will last a lifetime for me. I graduated in 1976, 40 years ago in that first graduating class from Southeast. That seems like such a long time ago. If I had to describe Southeast in 1976 when I was a senior and Valley Point and Eastbrook came together to make one school. I have to say it was a little anxious at the time. We were just a little nervous and anxious about being put together. When those freshman classes of Southeast became seniors, after that it was all Southeast. There was no more Valley Point Eastbrook at that point because they came in as freshmen. Uh, others may came in as sophomore, they were sophomores at Valley Point you know what I mean, and sophomores at Eastbrook, so they still had the two school thing. So I guess it probably it took that long to really settle in. After a few years, we began to get into computers because back in the 70s, there weren't any um, desktop computers. So in the 80s, we began to have computers and probably in about 1987, we started our first Macintosh lab. They were wonderful brand new computers with 512K of RAM. We also had a good band program with Mr. Gaddis. Mr. Gaddis came uh, with the, the building. I guess my most memorable experiences was with the band and um, being with Mr. Gaddis and all the great things he taught us about life and maturity and all those fun things. And also doing all the productions with um, Miss Daniels, um, Oklahoma and The Sound of Music. Those were awesome, fun times. My, my fondest memory was the first football game that we won our senior year. It was, we had a couple of very bad losses and and we finally finally won and it was a very fond memory. My fondest memory here was always the Friday night football games. I cheered all four years here and now I'm actually a JV cheerleading coach here. Um, but also I love the pep rallies. We used to always do a big Raider walk and um, the band would line up, the cheerleaders and then the football players would line up at the end and we would um, just walk through the halls and um, we would end in the gym for the pep rally and the atmosphere of the Raider walk still gives me chills when I think about it to this day but it also helped prepare everybody for the football game. Everybody was always excited whenever it was Raider walk time because that means that it was time for the pep rally and then the football game and um, that was just always a really really awesome time. 1987 football season uh, I was a sophomore on the football team and uh, we beat Dalton for the first and only time at this point in school history, uh, 14 to 13 over there and that was by far uh, one of my most memorable moments uh, as, a, as a Raider. The four years I spent in high school we beat Northwest Whitfield every year uh, including in 1988 when they were undefeated and one of the top ranked teams in the state and we went to Northwest and beat them 27 to 7 and those are those are memories I will carry with me 
forever. And once again, about Southeast, it's because of the people. It's those guys I was a teammate with, and I wasn't very good. I don't think I stepped on the field in most of those ball games, but the opportunity to be there, to be a part of it, to be a Raider, boy, that'll go with you forever. We run the play, I make the block, and we score a touchdown. And I remember after the extra point running over the sidelines and Reggie Glaze just tackled me. He was our, our, my position coach and tackled me and loved on me and was really, really proud of me. And he let me know that in a way that I'd never seen before. I had made a lot of catches that season. I'd, I'd made some good blocks and he, he was always, hey, good job. And he went on about his business coaching, uh, but he was ecstatic. And after the game was over, I told Kevin, I said, hey, you know, I, Coach Glaze really acted in a way I hadn't seen him. He was ecstatic, ecstatic about that particular block that I made. And he said, well, you don't know what happened. He said, uh, Coach McFerrin asked me, he said, Kevin, what play should we run? And he said, I told him, let's run the option. And he said, no, he said, Lentic cannot block that guy. And apparently what happened next was uh, Kevin said, Coach Glaze jumped up in the, between them and said, hey, run the play, I promise you, he will make that block. And, and I did. And I can't tell you, as a young man who, and I didn't have a father, I'd never met my father, but as a young man who didn't have a father, to have a coach believe in you and you come through for him, how that makes you feel, the confidence that it builds in you, and uh, just the feeling of satisfaction that somebody depended on you and you came through for him. Honestly, when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for a career, how I wanted to spend my life, I, when I was in the Army and when I was thinking about college, I kept coming back to that moment and thinking about what that had meant to me. And I remember thinking when I was in my early 20s, hey, if you can do that, make a young person feel like that and build that confidence in them and make them feel good about themselves, that's a pretty good career. I think graduation was the most exciting for me, not because I was leaving Southeast High School, but because later on in my life, I realized Southeast truly prepared me for the rest of my life. It gave me that educational backbone that I needed to succeed in my undergraduate studies, in my graduate studies now, and just general life lessons that I don't know if I would have experienced if I had gone somewhere else. I came over as eighth grader, and we played uh, some scrimmage basketball games in the gym here at Southeast in the spring. And from that point on, I knew I was gonna be a Raider and it was gonna be a great time. And the following year, uh, 1984, I became a Raider. And uh, that year, I was fortunate enough and blessed enough to, to be the state champion in cross country. And it was a great, uh, great event. It was a great year. This is Denny Penley. She used to be a Southeast student, and now she's a teacher. Denny, tell us a little bit how it was when you were here. Well, I got here in 1984, graduated in 1988. Everything else is kind of a blur. Uh, I, some of the teachers that I had are still here, so it's kind of interesting to work with them and uh, kid around with them and joke around with them every day. Uh, the atmosphere around was pretty good. We, we had uh, lots of fun my senior year, the year we beat Dalton. I think the score was 14 to 13. Um, we were swinging on the goalpost at the end of the ball game. They were yelling at us over the PA system to get out the goalpost. Of course, I wasn't. I didn't do that. <laughs> I remember the halls, the, their carpet, there was carpet in the hallways and lockers. It was just kind of dark. Um, it doesn't look like that anymore. There's lots of, lots of light and uh, natural light and the flooring's different, but um, the people are the same and uh, the students are the same. The school has changed. It has been, um, it still looks pretty similar when you come in. You still get the feel of this is Southeast, this is where I went. Um, but then they've done lots of cool updates and lots of new things. Um, the new additions and the new remodel on the um, football field and around the track and all that was greatly needed and a wonderful addition. And um, I believe the students here are blessed to be in just an awesome environment. Over the 30 years, Southeast has changed a lot. Um, the building has changed, the personnel has changed, our student demographics have changed significantly. And yet, as I think back over it, at the heart, we're still the same. I think one of the things that makes Southeast great is just the human connection, um, whether it be between students or between faculty, um, coaches, um, the counselors, you know, you name it, um, the teachers. I think Southeast is, is an awesome place for people to go and interact with each other. There's just so many great people there, and that's one thing that I miss the most. 
and I've been at Southeast ever since it's been Southeast High School. They've been wonderful years, many memories, open classrooms, rotating schedules, quarter system, semester system, but through it all, a lot of wonderful students. And we've always had a lot of community support here and a very, very warm and caring faculty. The four years I spent in high school here were, were great years. Uh, I, I built great relationships with, with friends and with teachers. And uh, those positive relationships that I built with teachers who, who had a big part of my life and, and helped guide me in the right, right direction is, is probably one of the main reasons I became a teacher. If I had to choose one word to describe Southeast, I would choose family. I remember as a student, being really close with each other. We weren't separated by cliques and things, and we all, we had the best teachers. Um, and as an adult, uh, after college, because of that, the legacy of family, I decided to come back and teach here at Southeast. And so now I get to enjoy it all over again, and I get to work alongside some of the teachers that were my favorites when I was in school. And um, all the new people that have come, you know, teachers, even if they aren't alumni, they immediately get the sense of family that we have within the faculty and it's just really great and I think that the students really appreciate that. There are genuine educators, it's a genuine educational institution, genuine administration, and beyond anything else you receive the most genuine education because those teachers and administrators love what they're doing every day that they walk into those front doors of that school. My husband now is um, part of the Raider family and so which meant we got to come back home and so we are very blessed and I also get to help with my alma mater every Friday night and I'm on, on the marching band staff with Mr. Mayhand and we are just so blessed in this school to have had awesome educators and especially music educators um, and in the fine arts department. Um, I just, I look back on my time and think that was the reason I became a music educator was because of the fine arts and the people here at Southeast. The word that I think of um, when I think of Southeast High School is family. Um, when I was first hired in the 80s, we used that word a lot. And um, I felt like it was true. But I feel now it's taken on a whole different meaning for me over the years as I have taught the children of former students and seen so many of my former students come back and work here at the school as my colleagues and that's really neat to um, work side by side with um, the people that used to be your students. Probably one word that I would use to describe my time here is probably uh, formative just because of the years I was here, the friends that I met, met the teachers that that impacted my life um, in such a profound way uh, would, would probably, formative would probably be the, the correct word. The one word I would pick to describe Southeast for me personally is home. Uh, I know when I came back here as an administrator, uh, I can, and every day I can't walk these halls without thinking about, you know, uh, some event that took place here. It's something that will just spark my memory, and I'll think about a class I had, or a practice I was a part of, or talking to a particular friend, or whatever. Community and pride definitely sums up the school. The the family atmosphere. You you say the word Raider now and you kind of you know puff out your chest and raise your head a little bit higher when saying it because of things that the faculty and staff have created here. Passion. I feel like that the community, the staff here at Southeast is very passionate about the young people, about the students here at Southeast. I feel like they put their heart and soul into the students and they care about them not just when they're here at Southeast but uh, when they leave here and they go out to the real world and they go to college and they go to the workplace I just feel like there's a lot of passion here, um, and that's where I want to be. I want to be around people who care about each other. It would be people and, and the folks who have come through here, and, and you know, it's all the kids that are here today, and, and they're so far removed as we get older in life, you feel so much older than folks, but you know that you have a common link, and that's that you're Raiders, and uh, that's definitely a great word to describe the school as people. The way I would describe Southeast High School would be with the word family. Um, and everyone that, that has worked here over the past, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, I think could say the same thing. 
Um, faculty take they take care of each other. Um, if, if somebody's going through a hard time, um, you can count on um, other faculty members to jump in and help and, and take care of and, and build each other up and encourage one another. Um, the same goes for the students. Uh, they're a big, they support one another in a way that's unlike any high school. Um, regardless of what niche they have or what part they play in the school, whether they're an athlete or they're in the band or they're a cheerleader or whatever, they all come together and form one student body that supports each other. Home. Family. True carry. Not one word, but I don't think you can have one word. In the next 40 years, I hope to see more community at Southeast. I would love to see more people come back home. I, w I, w I would love to see the alumni get involved here at Southeast and, and, and make an investment of time and effort to see us progress and you know build even better than we are now. In the future, the, uh, the upcoming 40 years, what I would like to see for uh, Southeast and kind of my vision and what I hope to accomplish while I'm here and and uh, hope that the person after me continues to push for, forward to is just for Southeast to be extraordinary. Um, to move past um, great and be extraordinary and to help our kids understand they can be extraordinary. And um, to continue to build uh, the community, build in the community, help in the community, and uh, get the community involved with Southeast High School. I know over the last couple of years we've been, done a lot of things with our feeder schools and Raider Nation and, and uh, bringing the younger kids from elementary schools over here for a day and, and helping, helping them to see what it's like to be a Raider and to have that um, the same desire I had when I was a, in middle school as an eighth grader, um, wanting to come to Southeast and know that I was gonna be a Raider was this what we're trying to do now and hopefully that will continue. Thank you for being a part of our celebration of our 40th anniversary, and it's a great day to be a Raider.